When I Google the greatest entrepreneurs of all time in business class, and I ask who shaped my world and my shoes, I scan the web for clues to a swoosh that has captured a nation. Only to the realization that my shoes weren't made in the US of A, but in a sweatshop in Vietnam, a town known as Saigon, I begin to hear their song. Because for every millionaire, there's millions more who were never noticed, never saw the fruits from their Nike hyperdunks, and they sunk further into the fabric. I apprehend and comprehend the voices of Chuck Tai Lam and Lee Wynn, the nameless ones who had their 15 minutes of fame stolen. A calm whisper clears day that the beaming knees who made my shoes paid a dollar a day for manual labor, dangerous conditions we wouldn't think to approach. Then I grasp me and my swoosh. All the Asians and stuff that made the Caucasian that much better, dating back to Rockefeller to the modern day exploring goods. All the millionaires who could see the concept, make a quick buck off of someone else's back. All squander heat potential and crucial conjure what could have been of all the Chinese and Malaysians that have slaving over a sneaker that be stole, sold on eBay in a year. You can mend the soles of shoes, but can you mend the souls of men? May put their pins before their own children. Maybe Mr. Knight, you think about the places that you put people in for your paycheck. This might be kind of rash, but cash heals the minds of many men in the US, bank accounts, and fat wallets restore the millions. But this isn't a left or right problem. It's a people problem. And let's face the fact that as soon as this poem concludes, you'll probably be out buying the next Adidas Zooms or any other product of Asia. The swoosh that made gods and goddesses out of LeBron, Kobe, Serena. The swoosh that stole me away, led me astray, made me think it was OK to walk into church every Sunday in that swoosh. In the sins of men halfway around the world, I pray to God to take both my souls away and help the voice fade away. Many men commend their souls with Phil Knight's souls, but I wonder when Mr. Knight goes before God, whether God will reconcile with Nike's style. Maybe Jesus wore his own pair of Nike Pegasus. Or maybe he wears no shoes at all, just like the Vietnamese workers who had my pair of Nike shoes. Phil Knight's face plastered every shoe. All the clues I extract from an internet search all point to PK's established church, but I still hear that voice, the whisper. And the fabric they sink into and the squeak of the souls that helped Mike take flight made a celebrity out of spike, but most of all in that benchmark, landmark, trademark that has captured a nation. Their swoosh. <laughs>